you guys know that I am filming my videos off my phone and my phone ran out of space so I had to upload that video delete it and then make another one so I look back on that video and it seemed like I was a hairy person I'm not hairy I shave I'm just saying that my hair grows pretty fast it's like if you got if you're if you're a hairy person you know exactly what I mean it's like I shave and it's like my hair is growing back that same day already so yeah I do shave <laughs> Um, and then um, I also forgot to mention that when I use when I do use the water in her hair, I I use a, a oil, whichever oil, the olive oil or the coconut oil. I use water with it at the same time. And um, the reason why you, oh, and then also I reason why I use the, the white tooth comb because it it helps with not hurting and it helps with not pulling out her hair as far as using a. Um, white tooth I mean a skinny tooth comb and then this is the kind of brush that I use I use a hard brush it's pretty dirty dirty um because it's dirty I use it on her hair all the time and also I forgot um the reason why I don't wash another reason why I don't wash your hair all the time is because I believe that when your hair is dirty it grows because um I also believe that for my own hair and I've always done that for my hair for many years and you guys seen how long my hair was um, because I felt like the things that you put in your hair, that you're putting in your hair to make sure it grows, even though I'm not putting things in your hair to make it grow, but the olive oil and the coconut oil are pretty good things. I don't wash it out when, um, I moisturize your hair. Once it's in the morning time, because I do that in the, at night when I moisturize her hair. In the morning time, by toweling, it's the morning time and I have to do her hair in the morning. It's already, like, dried up in her scalp. And then, um... And then I also, when I was about to say before the video cut off, I also use this Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner. I use this on her hair sometimes, not a lot. Um, it looks like this and it smells very good. It smells just like coconut and it looks like that. You can find this probably at the dollar store, I don't remember, but this is not expensive at all. I think I probably got mine from probably whatever, some kind of drugstore. Um... I did for her baby hairs or like to smooth down her hair to make it look really nice. I used to use the olive oil edge control. Looks like that. If you guys follow my beauty channel, you know that I used to use that on my hair. And I feel like it's not the same like it used to be when I first started using it, which was like sometime last year. I feel like they changed the formula or something because it does not do justice to my hair or Jasmine's hair like it used to. And I actually forgot to bring what I do use in her hair. I think I left it out. But I'm going to go and get it in a minute. But what I do use to style her hair, I use the Kids Organic Shea Butter Detangling Moisturizer Hair Lotion. Uh, it looks like this. If you guys have been following my videos for a very long time, you know that I did not like this at all. Because it used to leave like... Um, white flakes in Jasmine's hair and it doesn't do it no more. I don't know if it's because at the time I had olive oil in I used it with olive oil or something. I don't remember what I used to do, but um, I love this stuff. This is the only thing I use on her hair. It pretty much down to right here. It goes a long way. I've had this for like, for months, for a while now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of this. It looks like that. For those that want to know, it's really runny and it's not thick. It doesn't weigh down her hair. Um, it's organic, so it's pretty. And then it has extra virgin olive oil, so it's pretty good. I really like it. It has a really nice smell. Um, it really smooths out her hair. And then I gotta go get this one thing that I forgot to bring in here. I thought I'd bring it in here, but it's one thing that I also use on Jasmine's hair. Let me go get it real fast. Okay, so once I like I style her hair with the um I comb out her hair with the white tooth comb, I'll put this on her hair, smooth it throughout her hair from her roots to her ends, then I'll brush her hair, I brush her hair smooth in the ponytail, then I use this curls passion fruit curl control paste. It looks like this. It's like kind of like a wax. It's supposed to smooth out your edges as well. And I love this stuff on her hair. It looks like that. It's like pretty much like a little gel. You can't see it really, but it's like a gel. 
And I love this stuff. It makes her hair very nice and smooth looking on her, the front of her hair. If you guys try this out, you know what I mean. But, um, and it smells, I don't know what you can call it, but it smells really good. I love this stuff. I'm, it's kind of expensive, but, um, I brought this myself. None of these products were sent to me. I brought all this stuff, you know, um, I brought this from Rite Aid. I forgot how much it was, but it was like I was on a hunt for looking for anything that smoothed out my edges. And I end up, every time I use stuff for myself, it depends on what it is. I'll end up using it on Jazzy's hair as well. It depends on if I feel like it'll, it's too grown for her hair. Like, for example, um, uh, like, let me show you guys. So it depends on what I use on Jazzy's hair. For example, this Eco Styling Air Hair um, Edge Control type of stuff, I don't think I would ever use this on her hair. So, um, be wise about what you put on your, your kid's hair, you know. For example, Pro Style Gel. I will use this on my hair. You guys know how this looks. Um, I don't have that much in there, but it's, it's, it's like a black gel. I would not use this on Jasmine's hair. Um, be smart about what you use on your kid's hair, you know, comb your hair, your kid's hair out, moisturize it, take care of it, just as much as you make sure you take care of your hair, because there's women out there that make sure their weave and their wigs and their own hair are looking on point, but they're not making sure their kid's hair is on point. You know, I see so many kids' hair that are like so jacked up, and it's not even funny, like, I've seen this one woman... On the bus, because you know you guys know that I don't I don't have a car yet and I ride a bus. Her daughters, it was three or four of them. Her daughter's hair, and I'm not even kidding you, her daughter's hair were so 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 mattered. It was like, do you ever comb it? I swear I want to take a picture of it to show people like this is not what you're supposed to do, your kids' hair. I don't take that much work, like comb it. Just take your time out of your day and comb your hair, comb your kid's hair. Just take care of it, you know? I don't even do Jasmine hair like that all the time. Like, sometimes I just throw it in a ponytail. Um, 